Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this video, particularly how to put a subject in front of text. Like so, we're going to be using Adobe After Effects, uh, primarily the Rotobrush tool, their updated 3.0 version. In my opinion, it's pretty easy and quite accurate, as you will see in this video, I'm going to open a new composition. It's the same composition, but without the effect of the roto brush tool, as you can see here, our subject is at the back. So to start off, what we want to do is uh, double click on our video layer, and it just opens a different uh, panel here at the top on your program monitor. And what ideally we would like to do is make sure we are at the beginning of our timeline. Then I will navigate to our Roto Brush tool here at the top. And then this is where the simple part is. You just draw a random line across your subject. And just like that, it makes uh, so the, these outlines are pretty much the tracing that it's making. You will notice if you zoom in on some areas, it might miss. And if you want to add to, then you can just draw another line. Or if you want to remove, then you click on Alt on your keyboard and you just draw in that area and it'll try by all means to make it correct. I'm not gonna be too fussy. For example, here there's another area where it missed. This is just for illustration purposes, but this is how simple it is. You, you don't have to actually draw manually everything. And here's another easy part. So once you've done that, you literally click on your space bar so that it starts tracing automatically throughout the video. So if I click on space bar, it starts rendering like that. Now, the speed at which it's going to do this is going to depend on how fast your computer is and the resolution and the length of your video, of course. Uh, mine is fairly simple, so it's going through it quite quickly. Okay, it's done. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed because at the beginning, you'll see that his two feet are together, but once they separate, it's intelligent enough. I mean, it is artificial intelligence. It's intelligent enough to notice that these are two legs. So they start off there and then they separate. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I like it. So once you're done, you go back to your composition tab here at the top and you will notice that now we only have the subject. We don't have the rest of the video. That's because it's pretty much created an alpha layer. It's masked out the subject. So don't worry about that. What we can do to fix this is to duplicate our video layer. And then on the one that's right at the bottom, just navigate to your effects and then disable or delete that roto brush effect. So essentially, now you have two layers of video, the one that has everything, and then the one that we cut out just a subject. And just like any other video editing software like Premiere Pro, it uses the hierarchy system in terms of layers. The layers appear as they are in terms of hierarchy. So the text layers that are here at the top will appear on top of the video. So for us to have this cut out, be on top of the text, primarily the promise uh, text, we need to move it on top here on the layers and it will do this a couple of times away to re-renders those frames. So don't worry, as you can see now it's rendered up again and now it's in front. I'm gonna unhide the other video layer so we can have all of it. And just like that, we now have our subject in front of our text. That's pretty cool. It's very simple, right? Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do let me know in the comments down below and be sure to give this video a like and please do subscribe for more videos like these. My name is Z and until next time, cheers.